Today on Artist Arms, we're reviewing the Recce Rig from Onward Research. This was my first ever chest rig and I'm excited to share all my thoughts about it. The Recce Rig retails at $160 and it comes in Ranger Green, Multicam, Multicam Black, Arid, Tropic, and M81. So there's a nice variety of camo patterns that you can order this in. So straight out of the package, you're not gonna have as much as I've got going on right here. So when you get this, it's gonna come standard with an H harness, which I really prefer over the X harness. I think H harness is just more comfortable. It seems to work better for me, especially if you're putting on a pack with your test rig. Um, yeah, H harnesses are just the way to go in my opinion. It's got four uh, mag holders here that have elastic retention. And then they also have a weather sealed flap so that you can close them up. Another nice thing about this is that you're going to be able to stack mags if you want to do that. It's a little snug but you can get two mags in there and covered up, protected from the elements, which is pretty nice. On either side, you're gonna have two rows of molly webbing so that you can put pouches on here or a uh, holder for a water bottle, anything like that. You can customize it a lot. You've got a Velcro map pouch that's gonna be right behind all of your mags here where you can slip small papers. And then you do have um, the option of a dangler pouch. And if you really want to build it out like I did, you can even put an admin pouch on the top because the design here on the back, you can open it from the top and the bottom. You can insert from either direction here just to get as many accessories in here as you want if you want to build it out and make it a little bit more complex. Now for me, I really like X Umbrus pouches. And so I've got their beer can on this side, the dangler here, an admin pouch, and an adjustable radio pouch. That's just how I like to run my rigs. Um, I do see a lot of people running this, radio on one side, and then just kind of a miscellaneous pouch here. But there's a lot of other ways that you can do it. Like I said, you could put a water bottle here. You don't necessarily need a radio pouch if you're not running comms. So there's a lot of different ways that you can customize this chest rig, which is very convenient. Another thing that I really like about this chest rig is that on these straps here, you have both horizontal and vertical mounting options and cable management options. And it's just really handy to have both the horizontal and vertical, as well as these little loops here so that you can run antenna through there or you can run cables through there. It's just nice to have that level of flexibility on your kit. Another thing that I have really appreciated about Onward Research is that their customer support is just great. My experience with their customer support has been wonderful. I emailed them because I was trying to figure out how I could build out the chest rig a bit more because I wanted the option to have an admin pouch on here and just make it a little bit more of a full kit and they responded very quickly and were super kind and had good suggestions for me. I ended up uh, going with one of their suggestions, which is from AXL. It's the JTAC adapter, and you can see it better on the back here, but it just fits right in to the top of the Velcro on that back there. And then on the front, it has these elastic fasteners just to hold it to the shoulder straps. So there's just nice modularity going on here, which I really appreciate. There's also room here in the molly webbing if you wanna just clip something in behind any of the pouches that you're running. Um, sometimes I'll just do an extra set of gloves. This has some chem lights on here right now, but you can really just tailor it to whatever you want. Coming back to the harness for a second, one thing I think I should mention is that there's just nice adjustability here so that if you're a bigger person or a smaller person, you're really gonna be able to customize it to your size. There's plenty of room here and there's nice management of uh, this fabric so that you can really roll it up, tighten it nicely and stow that away. So I've had this rig for about two years now and it has held up incredibly well. I have been very happy with its durability over time, haven't run into any issues with it. Um, I go prone in this kit all the time and it 
still honestly looks pretty new considering how much I've used it, which is really nice. I think the only thing that I would change about this rig is the elastic retention. Initially, when I got this rig, I loved the idea of being able to run eight mags. And that's something that they even say on their uh, website, talking about some of the features of the Recce rig. And you can run eight mags, but the problem that I've come across is that there is no good way to do a tactical reload with two mags in each of these pouches. Maybe I'm just being dumb. Maybe I haven't figured out the right technique, but I have just never found a good way because this retention is so tight that without having two hands, there's almost no way that you're going to get that second mag in if there's already one in there. Um, and because of that, it makes it far less functional. So for me, when I've been using this, the second I put two mags into any of these pouches, it shifts from being something that is function to being something that is storage. And I think that's important to note because if you're wanting to be able to use this in a faster manner, um, you really can't do two magazines stacked unless I'm just really missing something here. So the way that I have typically run this rig, just to ensure that I can move with some speed if I want to, is I've just taken these flaps and tucked them in so that I've got them open and just run single mags across here. And that's ended up being much better. I can still use just one hand to um, get the magazines back into retention on a tactical reload, and that works just fine. Um, if you are worried about the number of mags that you're carrying, you're uncomfortable with just having four, remember, if you are kitted out, you can still be running two on your belt and a couple in your pockets. So you can bring yourself back up to that more standard military loadout, um, but if you are double magging these pouches, it's gonna be more for storage. I feel like it's a small critique to talk about this retention, but if it could be changed to something that's a bit more rigid, since really single mag is the only way to go if you're wanting some speed out of this, uh, it would be nice to have some, some nice tight retention that's not elastic here. Um, though I understand why they went with the design that they did. Another thing that would be super sweet that I would love to see personally is if Onward Research would bring some other camo options to the table. I'd love to see some Rhodesian brush stroke or some tiger stripe or stuff like that. I think there's actually some nice value in offering camos that are not used by the US military for private consumers to purchase. Though that might be another conversation. So that's the Recce Rig, guys. And one of the other nice things about it is it is designed and it is sourced and made in the United States. So it's nice to know when you're purchasing something like this that it's going back to supporting the uh, American economy. So it's definitely an item that I recommend. I've really enjoyed using it. You have to remember though what it is used for. So if you're looking for something that is maybe a smaller, low profile rig that is uh, designed for speed, this might not be the option for you. But if you're looking to do some real mountain recce, I think they really hit the nail on the head with this. So go to onwardresearch.com if you wanna check this out. I purchased this with my own money. They're not paying me to say that. I just think so far the stuff I've used from them has been high quality and I appreciate that. So as always guys, get out there and train hard. Make sure that you're purchasing gear that reflects the seriousness of your training and is able to serve you when you need it most.